Now I know what you're thinking. What's this obviously ruggedly handsome man doing pointing a seemingly loaded gun at a defenseless innocent man? Well, first off, though he very well may be defenseless, there's absolutely nothing innocent about him. But that's jumping the gun. People always say, your name determines your destiny. Unfortunately, I didn't quite meet my parents' expectations. Now it's not all bad. Money, women, alcohol. I pretty much have it made. That is, well, until I lost it. I've always had a thing for gambling. Some say it's a problem. I say it's a lifestyle. Ever since I was a kid, it was just something about the risk. The high stakes. It's a thrill. I've won some, I've lost some. And the funny thing is, tonight, I have a feeling I'm not going to be so lucky. Doesn't matter if you're Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, or Mark Anthony. A bitch always finds a way to fuck you over. Just like that, I'm screwed. But I've seen this story before.
Played a good game, right? Good game. He has a week to get in the rest of the night. Long story short. You hear that, boy? You hear that? You got one week to come up with 80 grand? Or you could be kissing this M9 111, bro. You. What? And it all started a few minutes earlier. So thanks to this bitch, I'm in the gangster's debt. And this guy isn't someone you want to fuck with. He has it all, from high-end senators to low-life goons. So basically, I'm fucked. The question that was left was, how the fuck am I supposed to get this money? And then it hit me from this motherfucker. Victor P. B. Palacios, one of the highest paid CEOs in the country. He runs a financial consultant firm and makes millions a year telling other rich motherfuckers how to handle their money. Point is, He's the only millionaire I have access to who can give me the type of money I need. If God ever made a mistake, it would be Victor. The low life scum of the earth. And that's the guy to get me to it. Jude. Anderson, Victor's right hand. They both graduated with their MBA. Jude, the top of his class, and Victor barely making it by. But Victor, true to his goddamn name, fucked Jude over. Jude had the brains, but Victor the street smarts. They were both up for the CEO promotion and Victor snatched it right out of poor Jude's hands, using his own ideas. He treats his employees like garbage and barely gives anyone a second look. Unless you're one of the chosen, if you know what I mean. I've been there for years and I'm surprised he even knows my name. <laughs> now ain't that some shit. I just gotta convince Jude that this is a good idea. I mean, he's the only one that can disarm the security system. He knows the guy's whole schedule. <laughs> I can convince him. Damn, you must be really thirsty. Shut up. 
I don't know what you picked this place to meet for in the first place. Because it's safe. They mind their own business. No shit. Besides, I know the owner. So where's your friend, the muscle you say? He should be on his way soon. Okay. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> hey, thanks again, man. I don't think I'm gonna do this without you. Yeah, okay. Hey. Aaron, Jude, Jude, Aaron. So how soon you think we get this thing going? Um, well, we can do this next month. Uh, he'll be closing the deal then, and there's sort of definitely money to say. No, we got to do this ASAP. How soon you can get me the information on the home and security system? Hey, look here. What we need this do it for, man? Let's do it the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way is what got you eight years. Look here. The three of us could do this and get away with it. Jude here. He knows the guy, whole schedule. And he's a master on the computer. He can hack into the system and loop the feed. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but I definitely could disarm the alarm. I definitely could turn off the security cameras. Exactly. Aaron, you are the muscle. You could restrain the dude, move around the furniture, and find where the money at. And um, what are you? I'm the mastermind. I'm here to make sure both of you guys keep a cool head and stick to the plan. Aaron, you're strong, but you're impatient. And Jude, you're smart, but you know about his life. Okay, well, let's start devising a plan. Yeah. Hey, the sooner the better. You know? Yeah. I can leave. <coughs> can you not smoke? Can't take that stuff. Yeah, sure thing. Princess. So back to the question, why are we pointing our guns at this son of a bitch? Just because. Like I've been telling you motherfuckers over and over again, I don't have a safe in my house. All my money is stored in various offshore banks around the world. I'll be a fucking idiot to keep money in my house. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Except we know for a fact that you keep extra money here for emergency purposes. Don't be a bother. So what? Tear the police down if you want. You still won't find shit. Hey, Apollo, Eric, let's get up. So, how did Zeus trick him into this one? It was simple enough. He brought me 50 grand of the other. Only 50? But he promised me 100. Say what? So why would he give you 50 grand more than me? What kind of deal you got going on behind my back? We, we don't, it just probably because I came up with the plan and the background info. So what? Huh? I bet you even know how to use one of these things. You ready to get in, right? So tell me what we need you for. Okay, okay, I'm the master in this group after all, right? Yeah, listen, listen, listen to me. It's not me. You should be taking this up. It's Alex. It's not me. We don't even know how much money is in this safe. We don't even know if it's enough to split it. Hey, hey, for your sake, there better be enough. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's, let's just make sure. Let's just make sure. It made no sense killing me when he's going to give you chump change, right? Right? Hey, look, yo. Let's just find the safe one. I get a sick feeling for this whole operation. Fine by me. Hey, any luck? What you did? No, what about you? 
Nah. You sure you're the same box down here? Positive. He always keeps some extra cash in hand for his personal deeds. Then where is the genius? Maybe you should ask the guy who's tied and bruised over there. Hey, hey, I'm up here. The poor keep Hey, 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 keep on this one. Hold it, cool it, alright? You just need to be patient. Hey, you couldn't let Aries report a bunch of one. Like, yo, we need it to communicate. If we use our real names, they'll have something to trace us by. And they get a call, okay, over that, right? Ain't no something there. Zeus, exactly what you're getting for this operation, though. You're getting the whole thing discussed. Yeah, I know, Rich, you know. But it seems to me there'll be all the different discussions in okay. I just try to figure out exactly where he's standing in this in. Okay, come on, guys, come on, cool it. We can sort this stuff out later. Right now, our main objective is to find the safe. Zeus, you sure you check everywhere down here? Yeah, but. Was it anything there? Okay, you checked the bedrooms. I don't think he would keep it in the other bedroom. Okay, uh, maybe you all check this room. So it has to be somewhere in the study, or it has to be in this master bedroom. We, we just gotta find a way to confirm. Hey, yeah, yo, come and do more. Let's not get this shit over and done. Okay, I have an idea. Alright, I like it. Look who's away. Fuck you! <laughs> You're not my type. But for this type of man looking at, you could be. Bullshit. You don't believe me? I'll kill you, I'll fucking kill you! Come on, Mr. Palacious. You should have just cooperated with us. Then you wouldn't have done all these boosts on you. How'd you find it? How the fuck did you find that? It was easy. I, I had an easier move the bank and a portal cracked open the city. It was easy as that. <laughs> I knew you guys were a bunch of fucking idiots. You haven't found shit. Hey, shut up! I don't know who you motherfuckers think you are, but you'll be arrested in no time. You can rough me up all you want, beat me up all you want, but you can't kill me, and you definitely won't get my money. You rot in jail or hell first. <laughs> hey, stop laughing. What the hell, man? Mr. Palacios, I think now would be a very good time for you to cooperate with us. Aries is a little bit more upset than. A little more than upset? I'm fucking furious. You don't waste enough time on this bullshit. Now he can start talking, or he start shooting. He's not gonna shoot me. Are you? Oh, bitch. Is he? Aries, just calm down. We know where the money is. We just need a few more minutes. It's in the master bedroom, Aries. Hey, quit it with that Aries bullshit, man. Hey, listen, I know tensions are high, but if you shoot him, you're gonna clean that shit up. Hey, hey, fuck you, Alex. 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 Alexander motherfucking Glenn. It is you, isn't it? <laughs> so no wonder you were so sure I had a safe in my house. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. You little piece of shit. You think you could come into my home, into my house, and steal from me? Shut up! Don't tell me what to do. Even if you shoot me, you can't kill me. <laughs> you need me. And now that I know who you are, I'm gonna make sure you all get shit. I mean, who all for my company did you put up with this little stunt of yours, huh? Could it be Jeremy from Accounts? Or could it be you, Nolan? Or is it you, Jude? No, it couldn't be Jude. He doesn't have the balls for this type of shit. I don't know who all you got to go on this little suicide mission of yours, Alexander, but you won't get out of here alive. I will destroy you. I will personally see to your own destruction. I will... What the fuck was that? 
Hey, we wouldn't stop talking, man. What the fuck was that? Hey, you already know who you are, bro. That's because you blew our fucking cup, you moron. Listen, you was the one talking shit about some fucking pain, you know. June, I mean Apollo, tell him not to say anything. It didn't make a difference. We already found out that the money was in the safe. I know it wasn't in the study. We were getting somewhere. But you, you couldn't fucking wait for a minute for me to make up a plan. Ah, uh, sometimes you ain't got time to plan, man. Nice. Sometimes you just get out and make decisions. So shooting the only person who knew where the money was. That was your decision. Listen, y'all, I shoot him, you know. But I didn't kill him. Maybe now you cooperate. Guys. What? He's dead. What? Are you sure? He's dead. I checked his pulse. How can he be dead? I just sort of made sure you can't die from that, right? You can't die from hitting your head. And a possible concussion coupled with blood loss from being shot? It is very possible. I don't think I've ever said this before. But stay the fuck away from me. I swear, if you come a step closer, I'll fucking kill you. Okay, okay, listen. We need to cool off and think of a plan. Aaron, I think it's best that you go outside and cool off until we can come up with a plan. Alex, I need you to go in the bathroom and get me some wet towels. What we need them for? Who the dead, right? And I'm bleeding all over the floor. And until the rigor mortis sets in, He's got a bleed in hands. No one here knows how to fix this mess. I think it's best that we stop the bleeding as best as we can until we can figure out what to do with the body. Right. So you, gotta, you know what? You realize your DNA is on that now, right? I'll just take it with me when we go out. Came up with a plan yet? Yeah? Uh, somewhat, but I have no idea. It'll even work. I know you warned me that the other guy was a hothead, but seriously? How do you even really know him? Where did you find a guy like him? Believe it or not, you go way back, like, like high school days way back. He took a lot of hits for me back then. If it wasn't for him trying to take some of the hits, I probably would have been able to go off to school and get my shit together. Okay guys, so for home work, what we're going to do is... Alexander! Aaron. If you don't stop interrupting my class, I'm going to make you stay back. See, stay back. She think I stay back. Miss, I got plans, you know. Relax, babe. You really want to test that theory? You can test whatever you want. I still ain't staying back. Okay, we'll see. Anyway guys, so as I was saying, we are going to complete your essays. <laughs> Alexander, Aaron, you two stand. Both of you stand.
Aaron. Always the fall guy. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have a body to get rid of. You sure he was the best choice? <laughs> uh, I just figured we needed some muscle. He was in between shitty jobs and I figured it wouldn't hurt. Huh. Well, I get it. I guess. So. Do you have any idea how much money is in this way? Listen to me. When you take someone out, you let them choose what they want. You don't let them know they can have whatever they want. You let them make their own limitations. And if it suits you, then you agree. Well, we're all done here. I think we should call Aaron from outside. Yeah, okay, sure. You sure you checked everywhere in this room? This drawer included? I mean, yeah, but it was only close. I didn't really see the need to check them. I mean, after all, you know, safety being no drawer, right? Oh, man, I, I mean, it's possible. I mean, I mean Victor has a way and habit of keeping hidden apartments. But he said people in the White House did this sort of stuff. I don't know. Well, look at here. Jackpot. All right, so what do we do now? Oh, that's a four-digit code. It wouldn't be easy to hack at all. Then why not just take the safe and leave? Hey, we have enough of your bright ideas for one night. I think I should be able to crack at him. Victor isn't a genius and he's pretty predictable, so there's only a series of numbers he could have used. Uh, birthday? Mother's birthday. Hmm. Anniversary. Oh, nah. It wouldn't be that easy. Uh, it has to be something that's important to him that much people wouldn't know about. Like what? His first job, maybe? Maybe. Ha <laughs> <laughs> That's why I called you a bottle! You're a fucking genius, man! So, so how you get to go, though? It was your idea. It wasn't our graduation day or our first day. So, what was it? It was the day Victor got see you over me. Uh, I'm just glad you cracked the safe. Let's pack this money up and get rolling. Nigga, we with it, 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 we with it. All of my niggas, you straight from the island, we came from the bottom, this shit like we fishes. Niggas can talk with me, fuck if they hate, and I don't give a fuck, just don't play with my digits. Or shit going down, shit going down. Nigga, we with it, 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 we with it. All of my niggas, you straight from the island, we came from the bottom, this shit like we fishes. Niggas can talk with me, fuck if they hate, and I don't give a fuck, just don't play with my digits. Yeah, yeah. shit going down, yeah, yeah. Shit going down. Let's talk yeah. more action. Yeah. If you got it, then ball, nigga. If you ain't comfy by the way you live, get up on your job, nigga. Get the fuck up out of your feelings. Stop hanging with them broke niggas. Scared money don't make money. If God made you a go get it, then go get it. My niggas whipping, flipping chickens out the kitchen. No shit. Pop a bottle because she trying to model. Got a Aaron, not the shit again, man. Hey, shut it, Alex. I wouldn't put it past this knowing all to try and cheat me, but you? You do think I don't know what the plan is to cheat me or the money? Aaron, put the gun down. Nah. How much money was in the fucking safe? Eric, put the gun down, then we can talk sensibly. How much money was in the fucking safe, man? How much you want? Give me a hundred thousand. <laughs> All right, man. It wasn't so hard, right? right? You know what? You know what? You know what? Make it three hundred thousand. What happened? I mean, asking too much for your fucking menu? Eric, huh? we can't possibly give you that much. Why the hell is fucking not? Because that's not enough for that. Alex and I, we have tr plans, dreams, goals at stake. Now, you've been nothing but trouble from the beginning. Now, if you want $100,000, fine. But I'm not risking any more of my time or my life because you want to have input and things you can't possibly understand. You shut the fuck up. I should have shoot you first. 
You realize I can shoot you right now and you don't have to get shit. Not for the last fucking time. Somebody tell me how much is this fucking safe so I can figure some shit out. 400,000. Nigga, talk louder than that, man. 400,000. 400,000? All right. All right. Let me spend it all evenly. Everybody get what they want. I mean, you all go our separate ways. But we can handle it. All right, you know what? Fuck it. All right, you're cool. You got it. Happy now? Yeah, man, bro, man. Yeah, everything cool. You know, I got plans too, man. I know, man. It's been one hell of a night, man. Yeah. You good, right? You good, bro. What the? Are we just killing people tonight? Jude, you made a simple plan and I fucked it up by bringing them here. Let's just take the money and split it between the two of us and just move on with our lives, alright? But people are dead. Jude, those guys deserve it. Look here. We can take this money. Start a plan. Start a, start a business or something. I'm gonna pay off my debt and live the rest of my life, living a good life for as long as I can. I might even invest. <laughs> so, Jude, what are you gonna do with the rest of the bodies? I don't know. Probably do the same thing with yours. Now, I know what you're thinking. How the fuck did we get here? I was his assistant for years. And by being his assistant, I made doing all of his work for him. Since we were in school, I have been his proverbial donkey that he rode to meet his successes. The perk about being used by someone like Victor is that I had access to his whole life. He trusted me with everything. It just was a matter of time before I was able to collect enough for a case. Embezzlement, fraud, money laundering, you name it, yup, he did it. And even though I had a plan in mind, I could have never imagined something as crazy and as brilliant as this. I had to figure something out. 
I wanted to destroy you. I mean, I wanted to bring you to as lowest a point as I could possibly imagine. <laughs> Then Alexander there came asking about your house setup, security systems. You had a safe. And you're on the back of what he was trying to do. I just, you know what I thought? You know what? Let me humor him. So I heard him out and listened to his plan. You know, I thought to myself, you know what? This, this would be my break. Then I met Aaron. Oh my god, what an idiot. All muscles, no brain, manipulating him. So after he shot you, you know what I did? I missed a small amount of anatine in your system. <laughs> uh, it relaxed your muscles and stop your heartbeat. And while they separated, I just gave you a larger dose. Just to keep you unconscious for a while while we fall from. <laughs> this chaos This is fucking hurt. I'll kill you I'll fucking destroy you Oh come on Victor No you won't <laughs> I kept record of the Every shade of being. Suspicious transactions and no buildings. Not only do I have enough to blackmail, I have your signature. I have your signature, your records. Everything to make sure you can't even shit without my permission. What, what do you what do you want? Oh, I already got it. Now, let me tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna report a break-in. You're gonna say that two men tried to steal from you. And they try to break in and take the one. Hundred thousand dollars you kept in your safe. I'm gonna repeat this, Victor. Wake up. Wake up. Ah. Okay. Paying attention. So you're gonna report a break in. You say that two men broke in. <laughs> and they try to steal from you. You know they were arguing about what to do with the one hundred thousand dollars you kept in your safe and killed each other over it. And you use that as your opportunity to escape from your restraints. Whatever you say is fine by me. What if, what if I don't agree with your demands? Come on, Victor, we're friends. I won't kill you. Uh, <laughs> but I'll definitely destroy you. Uh, right. Bye now. Do you have my money? Yeah. Good. 
Well, I guess he's dead now. Regret and despise all I see through these eyes. The day I can fly, the next one wishing I could die. So I roll the dice, that's what keeps me alive. The rush of this life seems to sort of compromise. And the premise is this reality is flawed, paint a picture to deceive, but the truth can be ignored and I can't conform. Cause that means I can see the mistakes of the path. I'll be destined to repeat so I can be in this game called life for a chance to say I've been a man for my son to look up to, true to myself. No games, no gimmicks, not for fame or for wealth, but to prove to the critics I will not go quietly. An attempt to try and silence me just might end violently. So I suggest you mind your tongue, cause you don't wanna see that side of me. Continue to lie to me.